All right. Today, we're going to talk about Material Q. We're going to just talk about the basics. We're going to show you, um, go over how to draw lines on your Android screen. Uh, just go into the basics of it. And so we'll call it Material Q 101. So what is Material Q? Uh, uh, I'm so sorry, I don't remember the gentleman that um, developed it or made Material Q. But the purpose was to have a program that can draw horizontal and vertical lines um, on an Android screen to help um, Android programmers lay out their graphics. So what can Material Q do? Well, it can draw horizontal lines and it can draw vertical lines on your Android screen. That's it. It can't draw diagonal lines. It can't draw curved lines. It can't draw shapes like circles or squares. It just draws horizontal and vertical lines. But with that, you can make still make amazing grids uh, to use with Golf Clash. So uh, let's get into it. Let me get out of here. And let's go to let's go to the screen here. Close this out. Okay. So what we're seeing here is uh, my Android tablet. Uh, one side is zoomed in, so you can see the mouse working both sides of the screen, and one is zoomed out, so you can see the effect on the um, when I start to show you how to draw some lines on your Android screen. So what this is, and what I'm not going to talk about initially you know, at all in the beginning is um, how to set up Material Q, how to download it, uh, how to set the permissions to allow it to overwrite on your screen. Uh, it should be in the documentation, and if not, um, it's easy enough to search and figure that out. Uh, purely, I just want to show you how to program it or code in it so that you can draw lines on your Android screen and have control of those lines. So when you open Material Q, when you start it up, this is the uh, screen you're going to see. It's going to look different from what you see on Minds. Um, it's going to see all these tiles, and each of these tiles is code to make a grid and you see these three little buttons here you can hit that it gives you three options clone edit delete so we can open one and look at the code uh, this is for one of these and here's another one what is this one all right and some are super long with lots and lots lots of lines but we'll go into it to show you how uh, after this vid after this video, you'll be able to make these grids. Um, so, and then to start new grids, you just hit each, hit the tile that starts your grid for you, puts it on your screen. So all these different grids. Um, so there's one up here called No Overlay. So you hit that and it takes the overlay away. Okay. And then you have this last tile way at the bottom, or where it may be on your screen, but it will be the last tile that says Add Overlay. This is where you start to add code to put um, to put lines on your Android screen. So let's hit that. And you're going to hop into the screen. And what you're going to see is you have three portions, that, uh, three places to fill in information, title, Subtitle optional and configuration. Title is just the title of your grid, so we'll call this first grid. Subtitle optional is what it is, is optional. It's just a second line for your title of your grid. So let's say this is a second line. Second line, and then configuration. It's a weird name to say this is where you put your code. Uh, this is where you start to enter your uh, commands to draw lines on the screen. So I'm just going to put for now, and we can talk about this. when I put slash slash, and I'm going to, this is what's called a comment line. Anything, it'll ignore anything after the two forward slashes, uh, it'll ignore it. So you could say this is a comment line. Yeah. So I'm going to hit enter. And now you see a new um, tile was made uh, that says first grid. 
and you can see the subtitle this is a second line and then here's the three options and i want to talk about these right now and this is very important so <laughs> just if, try to remember this portion one you can clone it uh you can edit it let's look at the edit one first so you hit edit it brings you back into the screen where you can edit your your grid so if I, i'll edit i'll put say this is a second comment line save it and you can discard it or you can save it so I'll save it with the check mark uh so i can edit it or if now i can clone it so this is the important part i was trying to say to remember always clone your work um so you ought to do that simple hit clone it goes back into the edit screen but now it says copy so i can save that and all i simply did was make a clone of the first grid and that's called for, you could rename it right but just do this all the time so if i open this up right, there it is right save for us if you need to delete a grid very simple you hit the delete key and this is now why i'm trying to say this is important to listen to cloning so you hit the delete key it's deleted i oh, know it says oh first grid. oh uh and it's gone <laughs> material queue is ruthless it doesn't have a, a check screen when you hit delete to say are you sure you want to delete your grid uh, or whatever it just immediately deletes gives you a couple of seconds to change your mind and then it's gone uh and if you look at the layout edit and delete are so close to each other and if you're doing it on your phone or android screen i guarantee you your fat finger is gonna think it's hitting edit but you're actually gonna hit delete and you're gonna say whoa your brain will freak out and you're gonna wonder what happened and you'll see the little and you're gonna try that and by the time it'll be gone and hours of work will be gone so yeah clone often as you go along um okay so let's get back into it let's edit the screen and let's go start making some lines here. So how do we draw a line in Material Q? In fact, I want to get rid of this too. I'm going to get rid of the second line just for... Okay. <clears throat> this is how you draw a line in Material Q with this command, key line. That's it. That's how you draw a line. Just say key line. Um, you have to put some additional modifiers to kind of give instructions on how to draw it. So draw a line, key line, and you can say distance. And you put some number, I'll put a hundred. You can put any number here. And then you can say from, and you can say from the left. You can say from the right, you can say from the top, or you can say from the bottom. Uh, but let's leave it from the right now and see what it's saying. So what it's saying is key line distance equals 100 from the right. There's no units here, so when there's no units, it means 100 pixels. So it, what it's trying to tell you, what this command says in English and is key line, draw line. That is distance 100 pixels. Key line distance equals 100. Draw a line that is 100 pixels from the right side of your screen. So let's start that. All right. Click it. And then you can see here. It, draw, it drew a line, 100 pixels from the right of your screen. It goes all the way to the top and it goes all the way to the bottom. If I wanna move it a little bit, I can say distance equals 300 from the right. Put whatever you want in there. So now it's moved 300 pixels away from the right side of your screen. If I change this to left, to left, enter, activate it. It now drew a line from the top all the way, from the bottom all the way to the top, 300 pixels from the left edge of your screen. Okay. <clears throat> what if I said bottom in this case? Bottom, enter. It now drew a line. Let's go back, what is, since we kind of changed this a little bit, let's see what it says again. Draw a line, key line, that is 300 pixels, distance equal 300, from the bottom of your screen. Okay, all right. So we can change this now to say, what about top? So top. And 
center. Oh, it's hard to see because oh, it's kind of there. You can't really see it. So we'll help go into the edit screen to see it better. There is 300 lines, 300 pixels from the top of your screen. Okay, let's change this back to right. All right. Activate that and go back into the edit screen. Okay. How do you make a line that's vertical and one once was one was vertical, one was horizontal? So you just have to kind of think about what happened. To draw a vertical line in material queue, you say key line some distance from the left or some distance from the right. That simply means draw a vertical line from the left or the right side of your screen, a vertical line. And if you want a horizontal line, then you would say from the top, horizontal line, or the bottom, right? So 300, this, 300 pixels from the top, a horizontal line, or 300 pixels from the bottom, horizontal line. That's it. That's how you say draw vertical or draw horizontal. Vertical is from right, left and horizontal is from top bottom. Okay, so to simply add another line, you just type right under it, distance equals, and we'll put 300 from equals to right, right? So this is gonna draw horizontal line, 300 from the bottom, and this is gonna draw horizontal line, 300 pixels from the right. Okay, and there it is. All right, we see a horizontal line here and a horizontal line here. But this line is goes from edge to edge. I don't want. What if you don't want your lines to go from edge to edge? In fact, what really is happening is this is drawing a. I believe it's drawing an infinitely long line. It just it's off the screen. It goes on forever and ever and ever. So you need to somehow uh, contain that line, and this is how you do it. <clears throat> so we we'll take away one of these. Um, let's take away the um, horizontal line. So we just take away the line command, <clears throat> and this is how you do it. You use the inset command. So what the inset command does is it sets a boundary. Uh, let me clear this off too. Let me. Okay. So what the inset command is, it sets a boundary. So you say inset, and then inset has its own what they call modifiers, and that is this inset. You can say inset left equals, and I put some number. I'm gonna put x's. Just for examples, inset right, inset top, inset from the bottom, inset, or you can even say height, and you can even say width. Okay, so now you can include in inset one, some, or all of these modifiers if you want. Um, but I'm gonna just let's go with uh, let's go bottom. All right. I'm going to say bottom, it goes 300. So what this line says, inset bottom equals 300, it's saying set a boundary 300 pixels from the bottom that nothing can happen. Uh, it's just it's setting up a boundary for the screen. Uh, and what's important is for things to get affected by that boundary, they have to be indented if they call it nested is a proper term nested within this bound inset command and the way it's nested is you put it you indent it so any lines that are drawn here indented underneath the inset command well cannot draw in this boundary so let me start that and there you can see right so now we have a vertical line 300 from the right edge that cannot draw 300 from the bottom edge. So that's how you contain a um, a line. So let's make let's try to change this line to a horizontal line. So let's see 300 from the bottom. And now we'll, we'll make a inset on the left. Let's go 200 and and right equals 200. So now what we're going to say is draw a horizontal line 300 from the bottom. But do not draw it 200 from the left, 200 pixels from the left edge and 200 pixels from the right edge. All right. And there you go. You have your, you have your horizontal line 
uh, inset off the edges of the screen. And that is it. That's how you can uh, draw precise horizontal lines or precise vertical lines wherever you want on your screen. But I'm going to show you a couple of things you can do uh, and explain a little bit more. So there are units in Material Q. So I'm going to take away the the inset command and let's draw this from let's draw a vertical line from the right so again not bounded infinite line so when i said there's no units here this is actually pixels so you can see pix for pixels or but if you don't use anything it's it just to find it defaults to pixels or you can say dips but dips is dp so what is a dip? A dip is like a normalized pixel. Uh, it tries to make, I'm not sure honestly what it really does, but it's to help normalize, I think that's the word, uh, for programming your Android screen, it tries to make the variety of screens a little uh, not so varied. So key line is 300 dp from the right. And then I want to also put key line so we can just look at the difference between a pixel and a dip. This is, it goes 300 from right. And just so we can tell the difference, you can also put this modifier in your keyline command. Color equals black. Color equals red. So I want to draw a black vertical line, 300 dips from the right, and a red uh, vertical line, 300 pixels from the right. So let's compare the two. Mm, what happened? Oh, I don't have a. See, and so it tells me handily that I made a six. Yeah, equal. Okay, it's like that. Okay. So from this, we can see the black line, 300 dips from the right of the screen, and this red line, 300 pixels from the right. A dip is bigger than a pixel. But not only that, in Material Q, you can put decimal. So you go at 300.3 pixels from the right edge. Huh? Activate it. Takes it. You can even put negative numbers too. So that's another thing to know. You can put negative numbers. And so uh, activate it. And where did my red line go? It's there. It's just that it's off the screen. It's, um, it's drawn on the opposite side and away from the edge of the screen, not on your screen because you put that negative number, but it, that will come in handy later in another video. So now that we know that, oh, also one last thing since we're talking about that, um, let's bring this line back. Just one last modifier so you know that you can do it is there's a thickness modifier to the key line command. So now you can say thickness equals, and now we know, now we know different uh, units, but so we can say one pixel or one dip. So we say thickness equals one, all right? And so you saw I got a little skinnier, or we could say a dip, and we know a dip is bigger, so it's gonna get fatter, all right? So what we see here is that if you stick with pixels, that's gonna be the finest you can get, right? Yeah, the most control with pixels, or you can make it super, make it a fatty, 10 dips. And you get a really deep, dark line, right? Okay. So we'll, leave, uh, we'll take this off. We'll just take the default. Okay. Now, so now we know that the insert command will constrain your line. So let's make a uh, horizontal line again. So horizontal, then I will need to say, uh, let's go 300 pixels from the bottom. Okay, and I want to inset it. I want to constrain it. Left equals 200, right equals 200. And what do we have to do for the inset? We have to nest it. We have to nest it to, to uh, have anything. The inset command con will only affect things that are nested within it, within the inset command from bottom. Okay. So what do we expect to see here? We're going to see a 300, uh, uh, we're going to see a horizontal line, 300 pixels from the bottom, 
that's me cut off 200 from the left of the screen and cut off 200 from the right. Do that. Okay. So there we go. We have a centered horizontal line. Uh, so pretty neat. But there's a one more unit you can use that's very useful. And this unit only works in the inset command. And that is percentage. So you can say percentage as well uh, as a unit in Material Q. So how can that be handy? So well, well, let's make a vertical line. Let's make a vertical line, right? Key line, distance equals uh, 500 from, from right. Okay. Activate that. All right, so since you can use percentage, this is how it can be super useful. I can instead say inset right equals 50%. All right, nest it. So now this line will be inset 50% um, from the right from the screen. There's a boundary that you can't draw on. But, but because it's nested, it's gonna draw it 500 from the right of the inset command. So it'll be 50% here, the boundary, and it's gonna draw 500 to the, to the, from the right. So it's gonna be right around here. Yep. Okay, so what are we doing? Why, are we, why, why am I telling you this? Because since inset is the only thing that can take percentage, you can also do this. You can put distance equals zero. And that will put a line right in the middle of your screen without any math or knowing or figuring stuff out. Insert right equals 50%. Key line distance equals 100 from right. And that's beautiful, except it's not going to draw a line. All right. The line is there. Uh, but what is happening is the line is being drawn. I don't know why it does this. It's being drawn right on the edge of the inset boundary. So you need to put this modifier, one last modifier for the key line command called outside. The full modifier actually, it says outside equals true. Meaning that you don't want to draw on the edge of it. You want to draw just on the outside of, the, of that boundary. So, but you don't have to put outside equals true. You can just put outside. It means the same thing. And so now we start it. Now we have a vertical line in the middle of your screen. Uh, easy peasy, we'll do inset. Uh, let's draw a vertical line, right? So, so we need to make an inset that is 50% off the bottom or the top, it doesn't really matter. Then we have to nest that key line distance equals zero from from the top, because we said it's from the top, equals, oh, from the bottom, excuse me, from the bottom, and we say outside. And now, activate that, you can't really see that until I take this away. Now we have a, a horizontal line in the middle of your screen, and a vertical line in the middle of the screen. Super easy. Uh, if you want to move it down, you can just take away that, take this away. Wait, sorry. Change this number. So that would be 10%. You're sending the boundary there. So you can control it that way as well. And then now, I, I like it from the bottom, but I also want to, I don't want to go in from edge to edge. So in the inset, I'm going to say inset equals, uh, now I'm going to make it pixels. So I'll say A100, left, right, left equals 100, right equals 100. So now I'm going to have a constrained line, horizontal line. All right. So now I think with what I just showed you, you can draw all kinds of uh, grids. This is all you would need to draw tons and tons of grids. And then the main thing also is don't forget you can put comments. So you can put a comment like uh, we'll call this instant right. So this is the vertical line, just to help you along with your code when you want to change it. And this will say horizontal line. Okay. Let's 
it and that'll be your code there. That's all we need. Uh, I'm going to go into another video that goes into um, a little more advanced topics uh, that'll make things even easier, but it's going to be a lot more information. Um, most people draw the grids with just these commands. Uh, you can make any, any grid you want that you see that um, someone else has drawn, you can make it with this command. Um, but we'll leave it here for now. We'll start another video uh, to talk about a little bit more advanced topics um, and show you maybe smarter strategies on what you can do to uh, help you change your grids, modify your grid. All right, okay, thanks for watching.